One of the most beautiful churches in the city where I live is named after today's saint, Josephat. Hello, I'm Father James Kavicki, and here in Milwaukee where I live, this huge church, which is a basilica, or a church where the Pope could celebrate Mass, should he ever come here, is a tribute to many Polish immigrants who sacrificed to build it. But who was St. Josephat? He's known as the Apostle of Union because he gave his life to promote unity between the Orthodox and Catholic churches. He was born into an Orthodox family, but as an adult joined one of the Eastern churches that had recently restored union with the Roman Catholic Church. He became a monk and an archbishop and gave his life trying to bring divided Christians together, being killed by a mob who opposed his efforts. The Basilica of St. Josephat's stands over the south side of Milwaukee and can be seen for miles. It's a symbol of the strength and beauty of the church and of her members, great and small. Wouldn't a united church, a church in which all Christians, Orthodox and Catholic, Anglican and Protestant came together, wouldn't this be an even greater witness to the faith? You and I need to pray harder for unity among Christians. For this was Jesus' own desire when he prayed at the Last Supper these words that we find in John's Gospel, chapter 17. May they all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. May they be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me, and that you loved them even as you loved me.